All right, man. Oh, yes, it's working. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Well, all right. Occasionally, you've got reasons in your game's development to rapidly increase the fun. That's what I've been doing with Wraithbinder here this last week. I've been adding sound effects, music, and um, that instantly makes the game more fun. It's a real quick thing too, right? Sound effects and music, especially if you've already got a whole bunch from your last video game you can just borrow, like I happen to. Um, so these are a lot of sound effects from from Songbringer and music from Songbringer as well. Just pull those in and use them and bye -bye. Game's more fun. Of course, I'm gonna be re um, making, making really nice sound effects, um, newer sound effects for this game and new music tracks and things like that, but for now, just to make the you know make it feel more fun as fast as I could, got this. Pulled some stuff from Songbringer. So this is also the sound engine from Songbringer, which uses F mod, and I love F mod. F mod's so cool. You can add reverb to all your effects. You can um, you can do procedural music like Songbringer did. Songbringer had procedural music tracks um, where the key would change depending on your world seed and stuff like that. And this game's gonna be kind of like that too, where. Um, where every time you play a match, an online match, you're, it's going to be a different world. So I'm thinking maybe the music will change. Also, I'll do the same kind of thing. So procedural music for Wraithbinder as well. Um, what was I going to mention here? Another thing too that I did with rapidly game, made the game a little bit more fun was to uh, finish all these blender animations. So we've got procedural animations now. This is pretty cool. It compiles a, a model from different pieces so we could have a different cloak, hair, armor, boots, whatever. All those different pieces, a character can personalize, customize every tiny little bit, and it compiles. Actually, there's actually an engine which compiles that model at um, at compile time, <laughs> at build time. And, um, and then you've got these cool animations that can run up to what as fast as you want is frames per second, right? I can do 100 frames per second animations. Uh, but right now I've got it set to 30, and that seems pretty nice, right? It's pretty nice an like animation speed at 30 frames per second. Everything's looking pretty good. It's so nice to see that smooth animation, though. So we went from 10 frames per second in my old manual animation system, where every frame was uh, modeled by hand in Magic of Oxel, to now 30 frames per second. Um, with this new system and we could go up to 60 or 100, which is super great. That's fun. Another thing too is the boss. So let's go and uh, let's go skip to boss. Um, and I've made the boss just a little bit more cool because he now has an intro sound effect and it's changes the music to be boss music and he also explodes when he's dead. So I'm actually going to cheat a little bit here and just get him down in his health. There we go. Believe it or not, he hits pretty hard. And, um, I die fast. So that's why, I, that's why I cheated. So that's fun, right? Little boss explosions. Kind of completes the cycle of this game, too. You start off, you get, um, you go find some items. You bind other players as wraiths by killing them, and they're on your team now. And then once everybody's on a team, you go and you fight the boss. And then when you fight the boss, you finish the boss. That's when the match is finished. So the cycle of this game is now complete. And the next time I'm going to be adding in a quick little menu too, so we'll be able to actually like start at the beginning from a menu and um, play a match, go back to the menu, that kind of stuff. That that whole cycle of the game will be. This is weird. It's such a weird glitch. Uh, it must have something to do with voxels being erased improperly because we restarted the match. Huh. You can see through the ground right there. Oh, I'm dead. I died fighting the boss. Now I'm... I'm a wraith? I'm the only player? This is a weird situation. So there you have it. Uh, the game's more fun rapidly. I really need to drop away some tile. I'm just thinking out loud here. I need to like drop away some of these world tiles as soon as you start fighting the boss so you can't just wander around the whole level anymore. So there you have it. Um, yeah, progress being made. Lots of progress, um, especially in the audio sense lately. I, there's a lot more sound effects to be added, by the way. I really have only just hooked up like the sword animation. It would be so great to do like this teleport, right? If this had a cool sound effect, it'd be sweet. 
um, blinking and shields and all this fun stuff. There's going to be a lot of more sound effects being added this week. Excited about that. So thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you next time. As soon as I stop the video. Like right now.